I, I, I retired from the unlicensed fight game after I'd done a 30 second uh, stint with um, 27 seconds with uh, Lenny McLean in the Thomas of Beckett um, a little sparring session and um, it lasted like say 27 seconds no 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 sorry 17 seconds and 10 of them was the count it went ding ding round one and he just went Wah! I was only supposed to be sparring, I fucking shit myself. I was like, what the fuck is happening here? And my head was going to my legs, run, run, and my legs were going, I can't move, I can't move. And I was just standing like that and he just ran across at me. Well, when you've got someone that's six foot, whatever it is, at 23 stone, running towards you, right? the, 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 the boxing ring is a very, very small place if you intended running away, which I did, right? But it looked like half a house running towards you. No boxing finesse, no in behind the jab. It was like combat and just run towards me i was like oh, oh. you know you go over an hill in a car and your tummy goes i couldn't fucking move you know I was like, and um he just i could just see him getting ready to unload it and his hand looked so big and he just went Wah. and i thought do the right thing dave put your hand in front of you like that and i put my hand up like that and he punched that hand that hand punched that hand that hand smacked myself in the mouth like that smash and i knocked myself out and I woke up with smelling salts and all that, and someone going, eight, uh, nine. <laughs> so I thought, I will retire from the uh, boxing game. You know, I was the only boxer I know that retired with a cauliflower bum. I, I went over so many times. Most memorable fight I had, me personally, uh, was at a Lenny McLean bill, and I was after Lenny McLean. And uh, how would you follow that? You know, I mean, you, you know, by the time I got up to do my little bit, most people were leaving, right? and I was fighting a, a black fella called Buster something or other and it was the first time I realised that God had gave them an extra eight inches on their arms more than us right? because he was punching the living daylights out of me for the first round next round I caught him with a few and after it had been winded he was good while he was winning but as soon as he was losing he lost he had no get up and go at him and I battered him and, uh, but he was still standing up but because he'd sold more tickets than me in the end, the ref sums, I knew I'd run, I was waving to me 30 mates that I'd brought. And as he went to hold my hand up, I'm ready to do it, he held this other fella's hand up because he'd sold more tickets. And it was quite corrupt at the time, you know what I mean? And that's how it went. And he looks at me in such a smarmy way. My corner man, um, which was his name was Santos, was getting out of the ring with the stall. As he was getting out, the ring there was a stall there, and I looked and I thought, oh. so I just grabbed the stall, I went, the ref's there as hard as I could, smacks it. Went round the ref and caught him straight on the chops with the stall. Bang. Down left, kicked off in the, in the ring, everyone jumped out of the ring. Lenny McLean then to come into the ring and going, calm down, calm down, all chairs going everywhere. Um, and then after that, me and him struck up a very, very good friendship and he put me on a lot of his shows. But my most memorable show was when I hit him with a stall. You know, I've, I've, I weren't really any good at it, to be quite honest. I got disqualified seven times. Right? And the reason being is, boxing more than any other sport in the world, when you run out of... Right, if you run out of it on a football match, someone scores a goal. You run out of it on a tennis ring, a ball goes over in it. You run out of it, uh, whatever. You run out of, of steam in a boxing ring and someone breaks your jaw, if you're lucky. Right? Because otherwise they keep hitting you, don't knock you out, and you get 30 shots because you can take a good pain, but you have no strength in you. So what I did is this. I knew that I only had one good round in me. I wasn't clever enough to prolong energy for the next round. From ding ding round one, you got my lot, my best. And I'd sit down at round one like that. That is right. And if after halfway through round two, you weren't knocked out, a well aimed fart would have knocked me over. I just was fucked. So I would rather, when I knew I had no more in me, just grab him and nut him or grab him and bite him and get disqualified than hang around and wait for the shot that's going to knock me out and carry me out in the thing. So I got disqualified seven times.